Hi everyone, my name is Emmanuel Momodo. I'm a specialist biomedical scientist and I'm also a lecturer in biomedical science here in the United Kingdom. I completed my PhD in biomedical science. For many years, I have helped a number of people to navigate through interview questions that help them to secure their dream job, either as a biomedical scientist or as a specialist biomedical scientist. And I'm here to help you to navigate interview questions, therefore increasing your chances of getting a job as a specialist biomedical scientist or as a biomedical scientist. I will ask that you like, share, comment and subscribe to our pages. Thank you. Hello everyone! <laughs> So um, I'm here again to answer a few questions that people have asked me and first of all, I would like to apologize for this taking long. The only main reason was I thought I should focus more on, on making some videos that could help a number of few people who have got interview. Okay, so this is why this is coming late. I sincerely want to apologize for that. Anyway, the first question was that, I think this was from John Jennifer, okay? So you've asked me, what are the tools of, what are the tools for quality management system? There are two keywords there. <laughs> there are two keywords there. And to be honest, I can understand why this can be an issue when you get such questions during your interview, okay? But there are two keywords. The keywords there are tools then quality management system. So what is a tool? If you say a tool, what, are you, what does it mean? So when you talk about a tool, you are looking at, you know, something that you use, okay, something that you use, you know, to measure something. So an indication, okay, you are, you are using something. So something that you use, you know, to measure whether something is either working or not. That is a tool, okay? Then when we look at the quality management system, we are looking at the system that is put in place, okay, to ensure that there is quality control, to ensure that the process that is put in place is being maintained, okay? So how are you going to do that? I'm going to tell you, you know, to me, I understand again, like I said, why this will be very challenging. So once you understand you use something to measure a process, and on this occasion, the process you are talking about is quality management system. So what tools are you going to use? I'll give you an example. <laughs> so, how are you going to know that quality is maintained? If you're a manager of the lab, if you're a senior biomedical scientist, how are you going to know? How can you know that something is really working? Okay, let's leave lab, like pathology lab a little bit. Let's come to maybe, all of, I'm sure that many of us, for you to be a biomedical scientist, you must have gone to the university. So, when you went to the university, you did the research, maybe your project during your undergraduate or some of you have done your master's. You did a project, okay? So when you did that project, you did lab work. Even if you don't do lab work, maybe something like systematic review, it's still the same thing. So meaning there's going to be, you're going to measure something. And in measuring something, you possibly have negative control. You also have your positive control. Then you have what you are measuring, okay? And when you finish measuring that, you don't just come out and tell us, okay, this shows this because of this. You need to plot a graph. <laughs> so you need to plot a graph. So from the graph, we can see your negative control. We can see your positive control. We can also see what you are measuring. Okay? So they are the tools. So the tools to ensure that the quality, that activity that is put in place to ensure that the quality has been maintained, the only way you can regulate it, the only way you can ensure that that thing has happened is when you go to your record. What are your records? <laughs> so when you do quality control in the lab, that quality control will generate, remember what was, when we were talking about Levagenis graph, it will generate a graph. So that graph is a tool. So, when you come as a senior biomedical scientist, you come and look at the graph. Yes, somebody said, I've done a control. How are you going to know? You look at the graph. Was the control done today? When was it done? Where is the point of that control? That is a tool. <laughs> so, what am I trying to say to bring this into perspective, okay? So, when you're looking at the tool of quality management system, you are actually looking at the things that can actually reassure you that actually that the process has been followed. And one of the examples are like your graphs. Whether that 
it is a scatter plot, whether it is a histogram, whether it is a straight line graph, any form of graph, okay, that can show actually what has been going on in the lab is a tool. And it is from that graph that you can know how is the quality control sample behaving. Even the people who are validating the quality control sample, where are they validating it? Are they validating it almost at the point of failing? If, I, if as a senior biomedical scientist, and I noted that a junior colleague has validated quality control sample, even though he said it passed, but it is almost close to plus or minus to standard deviation. I, I'm going to query that BMS. I'm going to ask, why did you validate it? This almost fell. You see it now. So because when you go to the uh, what we call quality control, which is called QC trending, that's, you know, the trending that you see, the lines, they are called QC trending. So when you look at the line, remember what I taught you guys before. So sometimes it can go up, it can come down, it can be at the middle, okay? Provided that it is within plus or minus two standard deviation. But if somebody go and validate quality control sample and start running patient sample, that that quality control sample result is almost at the point of plus or minus two standard deviation. Very close, but the person validated. The person has not done a good job. I will query it. Why did you do that? Because that could have failed. Therefore, when you plot a graph, so that graph that the quality control sample is gener results are generating, rather, that you see from your analyzer showing you okay these are the result of each of the quality control sample that has been done so that graph that qc trending is also a tool okay so meaning that you can actually present a report of what the way the quality has been going in the lab so how can you present it you then need to plot a graph okay so that graph you're going to plot will then show you okay the tools you know what you know what you guys have been doing in the lab so when you plot a graph of the performance of what the lab, you know, what is going on in the lab. When you look at the QC trending, okay, of each point of the result of the quality control, you know, things like that are what you call quality management tools or the tools for quality management system. Is that okay? So I'm just gonna, I mentioned a few things here. So I just wanna mention, I've already said it. So when you look at something like control charts, which I've mentioned, if you look at something like maybe a chart, so just generally graph, whether it is a scatter diagram, okay, anything that can actually shows you the performance of this quality control sample, you know, is actually the tools. I hope I've answered that question. So therefore, when they ask you what are the tools for quality management system, give them this uh, QC trending, okay, scatter graph, okay, uh, chart, okay, whether it is a histogram diagram or straight line diagram, any form of graph, okay, that will show you the performance of the lab, they are actually the tools, okay? Anyway, I hope I've answered that question for you, John Jennifer. Thank you so much for bringing that question up anyway.